record. I just went to go see Blink-182 there and, and Turnstile. And oh my God, Turnstile played MSG. Wow. They they opened up. They did a whole leg of that tour for Blink. Yeah. And oh yes, it was yes, yes, cool. Yes. It was cool to see, but it's not their thing. And then we just played with them in Alabama. And we've been playing with Turnstile for years in different, you know, capacity. And now they're just this fucking huge force. And they're the the well, glow on. They just made it so listenable on for is everybody. So fucking yeah. cool, but it made so many haters. Yeah. I made so many fans for them and I'm a fucking fan. And we played like, uh, this is hardcore with them over 10 years ago, you know, and like a bunch of shows, but, um, you'll see, I'll be in the, I'll be on stage and I'll see somebody with a turnstile shirt and I'm like, Oh, turnstile. And it's like the biggest dork, like the last person you would ever. And I was like, yeah, that's a glow on shirt. You just but it introduced, yeah. it introduces people to some older stuff and some newer stuff. Yeah. And then they but go to the show and see how violent it is. And they're like, no, there shouldn't be violence. But, it's like, well, then you don't belong. But in Alabama, they play, I think it was Alabama. I'm maybe, I don't know where the fuck I was. There was somewhere and they played a big stage, but there was like a drop down sort of like stage and no barricade, no security. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it was so good. Really? It was so good. Cause they were in their element. Yeah. Like they were getting fucking hit by people on stage. Really? Yeah. yeah. It was, they were, they're not, they're not fucking like, you know, rock or being pussies about stuff. I, I, I got into their right from more? Glow On. And then I went back right. in, but, and but I was like, oh, they are Glow On is sick because they put, the way they put it out and the way they use social media and like they did it in this really smart, and it was like little presents because it was doing like COVID. Oh, that's like, right. Yeah. That's right. That's they right. They dropped it really smart. Yeah. So I was just, I was just psyched for them. Like the it way they changed was, the, the game. album is every song alone. But even like is some of the songs are so short and so weird and like so cool, but they're yeah. all hits. But yeah, I was very much like a justice influence in that. Totally. Justice yeah. Justice from, from Angel Trapped Dust. Under Ice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Angel Dust. Yeah. You know? But then the somebody, someone like, said like, um, yeah, there was, that's what I mean. There's a lot of strange things that made sense. So they did it in the right way. Yeah. I, I mean, like, it's cool that it gets people into hardcore and then they go back to find. I never what realized. Them and yeah. them. And because those, really cool. those, those guys, those, those guys and that girl, they know, they know their shit, you know? And I mean, and then someone said to me like, oh, it, uh, they ripped off shelter and sieve or something on that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, that's a, I'll take that compliment. Yeah, like, I think the dynamics yeah. and the, yes, high, the highness of his voice. I was like, yeah. I could definitely hear shelter, Civ less, but shelter. But I was like, that's fucking cool. Like yeah. I'm, 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 I'm into that. But anyway, I watched him play the garden and it was like, good for you guys. Cause you know, playing the garden is cool. I got to do it with Civ. We opened for kiss one time on the Whoa. comeback, their reunion tour. It was nepotism. We had the same management company. Yeah. But, um, that's awesome. It was cool. That's kind of it. how it works though. With bands, oh, hundred percent. But, um, but like those guys, you know, like for Turnstile, they're the band right now that, uh, older bands or big bands want to give them credibility mm. where it's like, oh, you're, gotcha. we're playing this regardless, but we can make it a cool show or we can just make it about us. So if we get you to say yes, then you give us credibility that we're cool with the kids. You know, we're hot uh, in the streets. Uh, we're in tie dye sweatshirts and we're doing it. <laughs> So, oh. you know what I get? You see what I'm yeah. saying? So even though like, cause they had offers from like the Foo Fighters, from Paramore right, and right, Blink. Right. So they chose that, you know, tour. Um, well, they had, when we went, it was, they had that, they had a Kulu. Have you heard of them? Ceremony. Ceremony. I love. Yeah. Ceremony yeah. rules. Anthony's Check out a Kulu. Cause they were like the, Akulu, they're like, I don't know. they're the least known band they're on that Brooklyn lineup, band. but they are so fucking good. It's mm. crazy. Cause I had been listening to them and I was like, Oh, they're opening for turnstile yeah. and we were stuck outside. Couldn't get in, but you can hear them. And I was like, dude, they rip. They're really good. We were stuck yeah. outside cause he got fake tickets. We, so yeah, I got scammed on tickets. He got, and then like, I got it. He then. goes, let's go to turnstile. I buy my own ticket because I can foresee. I'm like, I know Ian and he's going to get scammed. So I buy my own. He's like, no, I got him. I'm like, like, I'm going to print mine. Yeah. <laughs> and then we get there. It's like a month later and I forget I bought my own. So I'm waiting with Ian while he figures out the scam. And then I was like, you guys, I have my own ticket. 
And then somehow using mine, you're begging. We all got in. Yeah, we got in and kind of swindled an old security guard and like kind of gave him the rope a dope of like confusing him. Nice. And sort of juggling on your unicycle. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Literally yeah. juggling. Yeah. 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 <laughs> da, 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 da. yeah. Literally, I was like, well, I'm going to smoke, but my friends out yes. there already and they need a cigarette. So if I just go, he was like, oh, go, okay, yeah. you kids, just stop talking to me. Yeah, 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 Eventually, yeah, yeah. they literally were like, I want this man away from me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let, let's let him go. Yeah. And then we all, we were at the cellar. It was a bunch of comics and we all were at the cellar the next day. Ian can't turn his head. I'm limping. Our <laughs> yeah. friend, our friend, I think it was Feeny. Feeny had a had like huge a jaw. Thing on Shane his Torres yeah. couldn't move. Like yeah. all of us are just like, that was the you did, you did good then. Yeah. yeah it was not really for fun. everybody. I still stage oh, and I'm yeah. 38. I love it. I'll never stop it. Every show I got, I just went to blacklisted and, um, uh, unbroken in Philly at the church. I think I saw a video of you stage diving. Oh, really? On your Instagram, right? Yeah. I did one with a cane at angel dust. A while Are you talking ago. about the flip that he did at the, didn't you go to taking back Sunday flip? Oh yeah. Oh, I went to that backyard show with maybe, Taking I Back I think it was Sunday. Philly. I think it was Philly. Maybe I saw Or maybe it. I, I sang the Freddie Mabel part on Guilty by Association with H2O, H2O at maybe. your show. Yeah. Oh, at our show. Yeah. Cool. And then I went outside to smoke oh, yeah, cigarettes yeah, yeah. and everybody packed in so hard for Gorilla Biscuits. I could not get through. And Smoking I was like, will get you. Well, I guess I'll just stay out here. I literally watched through the window like a little kid. I was oh, like, from I that wish side I was thing. There. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. It was so packed. It was so cool. People, it's it's so awesome to see everyone just get so fucking stoked on on how great those you guys those are. shows were fun. Yeah, the second I think the second night, um, I feel like the first night. What happens is if we do two nights, it's like the first night seems to be more like um, the older fans will get tickets faster, which mm -hmm. is strange because like you think like younger people would be like more savvy and like quicker. But then the second night's usually like a different mix and it's a little bit more high energy. And I think that happened um, that night. It was just like, I think the first night I was like, I felt a little sluggish. You know, it's like that one off back. And then the second night we played with Fucked Up and I was like, yeah, cold world, right? Cold world. Yeah. And those guys were killing it so hard that I kind of got like competitive. Like me and Walter nice. were like, like, fuck, like can't just half-ass this shit. Like, and the dude from, uh, yeah, we were watching, we were, the guys from fucked up were like, no, oh, you'll be fine. And I was like, trying to get in my head, like trying to make me like ha half step this. He's like, no, it's going to be a great show. Walter wow. was like, yeah, he's fucking with us. I said, all right. Were so they or were they just no? He was like, like he was he was like being uh, like inadible. I want to be the I want to be the guy with the good I want to have the good show. Oh, but um, so it was good. It was a little gamesmanship. I liked it. But we had this. We had this. Um, it was it was it was wild. There was uh, a girl. My uncle Mike. My uncle Mike came. He's like a deadhead. He never came before, and he was there. And there was a a girl up front who we learned later was a a dancer because she was yeah. sort of naked mm. and thongy the whole show stage nice. diving yeah. stage diving stage diving what and were their titties out well titties were a byproduct of her stage diving. but the butt it wasn't the, like the mini skirt like with the thong was out wow but she was very comfortable with her her body and her profession and she was just it was an extension hell yes yeah. and everyone seemed to whoever enjoys the female form seemed to enjoy it you don't say yes it was shocking Oh, wow. And then, but then up front, it was a very, it, I enjoyed the juxtaposition of the, the crowd because it was like old heads that look like they're from Middle Earth, you know, yes. like giant beards and yeah, yeah. they can break your arm by squeezing it and they're been suffering their whole life and they're getting it out. Their the wives are home and their kids are asleep. Like, <laughs> and, and then there was this young lady with a lot of style. And then there was a... I'm assuming a, a woman, a trans woman, but young, who was going through the transition and mm -hmm. had her shirt off. So there was like giant bearded men, thong butts. Yes. Little new boobies. Yes. Wow. And it was all happening as I'm kind of kneeling down singing. And I was like, this is a wonderful world we're having. Right yeah, now. that's yeah. awesome. It's kind of a trip. That's so cool. And then I would turn around and we, we invited our, what we uh, would deem our normal friends or our civilian friends from, we have like 
lake friends from our house upstate and we had school friends and they came. Oh, that's great. Nice. And they were standing behind the amps, just like, what the fuck is going Hell on? Yeah. Yeah. And my daughter was there. So she, that was pretty amazing too. Uh, How old is she? Nine. Nine. You give her little earplugs and she just sits uh, on- She gets earplugs and she rocks out. She was Hell dancing. Yeah. She got, she, she two step it. She gets it. That's awesome. She's more of a uh, Taylor. She's Swifty. Is she a little Swifty? Uh, yeah. And, She'll but hard, but you know what? She went to go see Taylor Swift in when she was she moshing? Came to New York. No, she was singing every fucking word like her life depended on it. That's my so wife was cool. videotaping it and she was like, I got like teary watch. She was singing it like she meant that shit. It's a zeitgeist. Her. It's a whole, it's a, it's, it's a, I'm into it. I got a yeah. shirt. I, I'm into it. I know every fucking word because it's all I can, I'm allowed to listen to. But oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I know a couple of hardcore guys have been like, get it. Taylor Swift rules. Yeah. She does. Billionaire. Yeah. And she just, and she puts on a fucking show and a half. Yeah. I Is saw her like dive into the, oh, into two, the stage. Definitely. <laughs> like there was a hole in the stage and she and, but those swam stages dove water. in it. Yeah. She, yeah. It's like water and she dives head first into the water stage and disappears. It's crazy. But it's like when you have the ability to do that, it's like your Fuck imagination it. is the only thing that's like holding you back. So it's like, just do mm. it. She's so, I think she's fucking cool. But my, uh, yeah, my, my, but hardcore actually got that. That was little Nepo kid that I knew. I went to his mother's house back in the day and she was a director and my friend was a director. I can't remember why we were there, but we we're having dinner in this really beautiful Manhattan apartment. And this was her kid. He now plays guitar for Taylor Swift. Nice. And Whoa. Toby from H2O yeah. hit me up. Um, Cause I was like, I tried my all bunch of my cool guys like Travis and Steve Aoki. And I said, you got to get me into Taylor. And they were like, good luck. Really? I was like, Fuck. Come on, you guys. And um, Toby was like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's really tough. And then he was like, yo, Max, Max, uh, Max is, and I was like, what? And then His son, Matt, no, no, no. Oh, <laughs> it's like, what? No. He's like, Max got you. No, no. This dude, Max, who plays guitar for Taylor oh, okay. was this kid that I had dinner with like 25 years ago. Yeah. And he reached out and he was like, yo, I got you friends and family list. That's amazing. That's And awesome. it was like Christmas meets birthday meets the best day ever. And we got yeah. like, tickets for my daughter. So oh, her and my cool. wife went. Wow. And she flipped out probably. She, was- she couldn't, she, yeah, she cried a little bit. She was so, oh, so oh, that's so because nice. it seemed like. It wasn't going to happen. Yeah. Like yeah. we were like, you know, like I'll do anything for my kids. And, but, I, but I was like, I was like, Hey baby, this might not happen. Yeah. Like daddy's trying. Yeah. Wow. But that's I got that awesome. long reach like I used to. Ooh. We'll see. Hell yeah. But it came through. Stage diving? Stage diving. What? And with her titties out? Well, 